There's something about waking up at the ass crack of dawn and watching Iowa in a way destroy an opponent uh, while I'm in my bathrobe. And that's going to be on Tuesday, 6 a.m. Eastern on ESPN plus um, Nio in a way going to become undisputed at 122. I think it'll be the first time since like 1980 that a fighter become undisputed at, at that weight class. He's facing little known Paul Butler uh, minus 8,000 favorite Nio in a way. Don't touch that. The over under is going to be interesting. I haven't figured out what I'm going to do for this over under. It's two and a half rounds. I have not seen a over under that low in a really long time. But this to me, this is about anytime in a way fights. I don't care who he's fighting. I tune in and I think a lot of boxing fans do as well. Yeah. Um, this is, this is just one of those fights. It's just, you know, the last belt to unify. Uh, I don't he's moving think up that, after this. Yeah. Yeah. And rightfully so. I mean, he, he looks like he's, he's growing out of the weight class. Um, he's been extremely dominant, but listen, we're, we're, we're given, not that we're not giving him a chance, but you know, Again, the, I think the weight's an issue. I, I, I'm wondering how in a way he's going to look, man. Like I said, he's growing out of the weight class. He could have a bad night based on on weight. So, you know, there, there's always that. That's pretty much the only let's chance. Let's find something. Yeah, yeah, let's let's that's let's it. find something. Let's uh, find I something. don't see it. I I think he gets starched in two rounds, but that's that's just me. So you're taking the uh, under. I'm taking the under. Okay, but it, it's I think it's a smart. It's a it's a a well played risk to take the over because it's it's good odds. And listen, anybody can fight for three rounds. But Thunder's fun. I mean, when I was watching in a way, when I called the fight with in a way and Donaire, and I'm a huge Donaire fan and, and he's a, a, a hall of famer, a first bout hall of famer. As soon as he does retire, uh, it was, it was otherworldly. It was, it was the matrix in there. The way that he so fast. picked his shots, didn't get hit with anything. It was, was compl- I mean, it was a perfect performance against a very, very dangerous guy. A guy he had fought already and, and had a tough fight with and got hurt with. He broke his orbital against mm-hmm. Donaire the first time. And then goes out there and completely dominates him. So, I mean, in a way, is p- potentially the best fighter in the world, pound for pound. Um, I think we're going to see uh, another fantastic performance. And, I, again, I can't wait because I love when the guy fights. Yeah. Will you get up early and watch it? You're up early anyway. I'm up early anyway. So, yeah. I will get up early and I will watch that. I, I love that. I think I put the uh, cup of coffee in the night before and you know, get it ready. It's awesome. I, well, I, I watch really a lot just... of the Saturday night fights early Sunday morning anyway. So this, yeah. this, 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 this is my normal routine. A lot of times I go to sleep early on Saturday nights and wake up in the morning and I have a plethora of fights to just sit and watch with my coffee. That's amazing. Um, who is Paul Butler? 36 fight veteran, obviously by far his biggest test. He, fe- he defeated Jonas Sultan in April uh to win that final belt and that became a target on his back for in probably the biggest he's getting his biggest payday so that's one caveat for, for butler uh he and his team missed the flight to japan earlier this week so you already the odds are stacked Yikes. against him to begin with uh his team misses the flight to japan earlier in the week travel snafus great uh obviously now in you already know who he is some fighter uh, fans don't know who he is they're still like wait a second is that that guy that everyone has in their top five but they never seen him fight before. Uh, if you haven't seen him fight, you should tune in. If you have seen him fight, you know why you're getting up at the ass crack of dawn to watch him. 20 out of, of his last 23 fights have ended in a knockout. 12 of his last 13. Uh, the only one being the Donaire in that 2018 uh, thriller. Um, punch stats out of this world. Second and jabs landed. 8.9. He's only behind uh, Golovkin. And uh, once Golovkin retires, you're looking at the best jabber in the world, uh, Nioa Inouye. Uh, ranks fifth and plus minus. That's uh, how many, t- uh, you know, your connect percentage versus your opponent's connect percentage. That's plus 14.7. And he's fifth overall uh, in overall connect percentage. So he's very accurate. has one of the best jabs. That's good defense, power. Uh, you got an entire country behind him. This guy is the goods, and he's moving up to 122. I don't know what's in store for him at 122 because there are not a lot of names. We thought as a siren, I think that's sirens indicating that we should end our show, and we will in a second. Um, there is not a lot of names at 122 besides Fulton, and Fulton is now moving up to 126. So everyone was clamoring for in a way to move up and fight Fulton, who is probably the best. 122 pounders so we got best versus best but of course boxing can't have that can't have nice things i don't know i i, I wouldn't if i'm faulting i'm saying at 22 and i'm getting i'm getting in a first fight at 22 before he's really grown into the weight class that's gonna be the best chance to beat him i also think that fulton has a style that could give in a way trouble that's the kind of guy that's gonna take to beat him so if i'm faulting 
I'm going for that anyway fight ASAP. Yeah, but that's another top rank PBC. The whole. I right, obviously we love it. You know, that's that's the fight. I mean, that is a. That's that's the fight where if I'm if I'm Stephen Fulton, get me this fight. This is the fight. Get me this fight. I'm telling you, get me bigger this fight. Bigger guy this, too. So absolutely, that's what I mean. He's the bigger man. He's staying at the weight class. He's been growing into the featherweight division anyway. Anyway, he's moving up to 22. First time being at the at weight class. I don't care who you are. Their first fight in a weight class is is there's there's that that caveat. You don't know that that the guys are that size. Most guys, it takes time to really get mature and grow into a weight class. We see that with Crawford now. Crawford's a real welterweight. It it, it took a couple years. He was I didn't ever think he was really like a welterweight until much re- very recently. So it takes time to grow into a weight class. I think anyway, he's going to need that time. Stephen Fulton would be smart to get him, get him early. He might be able to get the monster when the monster isn't the monster yet at 22. That's a good, good way to look at it. Well, hopefully we do get that. Um, so that's it for this show. Uh, we'll be back on Thursday uh, with our preview show for uh, Michelle Rivera, Frank Martin, some of the other stuff that's going on in the world. We'll have a list. Uh, maybe we'll have Ronnie watch another Rocky. We haven't done that in a while. Uh, and then we have our year end show um, sometime, uh, obviously uh, at the end of December. Hope everyone enjoyed our uh, review episode. We'll be back Thursday. As always, check yourselves at all times. Uh, I forgot my saying again. Stay out of DM.